Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have another tag video. This one is the Blush is Bay tag, and it was created by Danny Bo and Natasha or Natisha in. I will have both their channels linked in the description box. So I highly suggest you guys go check them out. I think they kind of got together and created this tag, and I just love that tags are getting a comeback. Who doesn't love a good tag? I love a good tag. Okay, so thank you ladies for uh, starting creating this tag. I love, I just love getting all this stuff together and thinking about blood. It really gets you in your stuff. You know, it gets you realizing, remembering, appreciating the things you do have and just enjoying them all over again when you're digging and trying to pick out and really think about the products that you're gonna use for the answers for something like a tag video. Okay, the first question is cream or powder blush? Which do you prefer? I prefer powder blush. 90% of my blushes are powder, so I have to say powder on that one. Number two is the weirdest color blush in your collection. Now, I don't really know if this is a weird I mean, it's not really a weird color, but to me, it's kind of like bold. It's like my boldest blush because I really don't have a weird uh, color blush. This is the MAC blush in hot, or no, burnt pepper. Oh, if I can get it open. It is so pretty. Look at this. Mm, in the summertime, oh my God, some color going on. This is magnificent. I just love this. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, and then number three, do you prefer high-end or drugstore blushes? I definitely prefer high-end blushes, although I did use drugstore blushes for years and years. High-end is just, once you spend the money <laughs> that we're spending on these higher-end blushes, it's kind of hard to reach for those blushes that you have less in. For me it is, it's hard for me to use drugstore blushes after I have all kinds of high-end blushes because I want to get my money's worth out of the high-end. I don't know, weird. But <clears throat> number four, your most expensive blush. And my most expensive blush by far is this one by, by Terry. It comes in a little, I bought this from a friend's blog sale. So I didn't, I didn't pay full price for it but it's still the most expensive blush I own. And I got this from Nell Shoe Girl. I'll have her channel linked below. Oh, I just love her too. Okay, this is the By Terry Blush Terribly in number 100 Torrid Peach. And it comes with a little brush. This is really not a good blush. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's a really good blush topper. Even for me, because it really, I didn't want to swatch all these, but it, you can't even see, it's got a lot of shimmer to it, but it doesn't have much uh, pigment. You know, it just really, <laughs> it's a blush topper, but it's so, so pretty. I love it. I love it. And I will keep this thing forever. It's going to go in a little makeup memory box one of these days because this, it's so heavy. It's ridiculous. It's it's luxury. It's what luxury should be, this packaging. Okay, enough with the crazy expensive blush. It's ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> My most inexpensive blush is this one from Kiko and Kiko Cosmetics. I think, I know I, I bought this online. They have a wonderful online website. Free shipping at like $15 and really great drugstore prices. Um, I think they have Kiko in Europe somewhere in drugstores, but this is in the shade uh, 106. It's their soft touch blush. Love this. It's a great nudie blush. Mm, so pretty. I don't use it enough, but I love it. Okay, and then my favorite blush single. It would have to be my Chanel Golden Sun Blush. I just, I just love this blush. Every time I use it, 
I, I, every time I pull this out to use it, I wound, I wind up using it for two weeks straight and I have to make myself put it back. I, if I could have one blush, it would be this one and I would be good, <laughs> to tell you the truth. Love blush, love all these ones I have, but this is just my favorite. Absolutely, Chanel Golden Sun is where it's at. And then my favorite blush palette, I don't have a bunch of blush palettes, but I love this Too Faced Love Flush blush palette. It's hard to say. Because it has all these shades, and in me buying this palette, I ventured out of my comfort zone and used some of these shades that I would never buy a blush that's this shade. I just never would. But since I have this and I've used that color, it's gorgeous. It's really pretty. I love every one of these blushes. I love this palette. They absolutely should make this permanent. It is the best thing Too Faced ever did, in my opinion. I just absolutely love it. Love it. How many times can I say love it? But this is what it's about. Our love for blush. All right. And then I have the oldest... Number eight is the oldest blush in my collection. That would have to be this Estee Lauder blush. It's a pure color blush in hot sienna. I still have the little plastic thing. This is so gorgeous. I love this. I bought this at a CCO. It's really pretty. I just never reach for it. I never reach for it. It's so pretty. I love these. Shades of blush, the gingery, orangey, with a little bit of red, terracotta type blushes. Oh, they look so good on my skin tone. I don't use it enough. This is definitely one oh, I just love. I just love it. But she's getting up there in years. All right. And then I have the newest blush in my collection. And that, let me shake it up, because this separates. It's the NARS Orgasm Liquid Blush. This baby right here, this is good. This is a good liquid cream, whatever, blush. It's really, really good. It has a little pump. Pump it out on my hand. I get a little stipple brush and put it on. It's so beautiful. So natural and really long lasting on the skin. Oh gosh. Love. Love this NARS liquid blush. It is amazing. It really, really is. And if you have dry skin, or even if you don't, I have combination oily skin, but I would say if somebody who exclusively used cream or liquid products would dig on this really hard because it's great. Okay, and then what's your party blush? <laughs> I don't party. <laughs> so instead of, you know, whatever, party blush, I thought I would use this opportunity to talk about this little tart party blush. The name of the blush is Party. It will it's what was in the birthday gift at Sephora last year. This blush. This blush set in the packaging the little box it came in in my drawers for months and I never touched it I thought it was gonna be like every other Tarte blush I'm not a Tarte blush fan just not I feel like they're really hard all the ones I've had before this one I just felt like they were really hard and I, I bought a blush palette and I felt like every color looked exactly the same on my face I don't know I'm just not big on Tarte blush but this though, but this is gorgeous. It is not hard pressed in the pan like a lot of them are. It is, it's so soft. It's so just gorgeous. It's such a pretty blush. It's so pretty. I just love it so much. So there's my party blush. All right, and then the brands you have four or more of, <clears throat> or that you have purchased four or more of the same brand. I don't have them all anymore, but these Clinique Cheap Pop blushes I've bought. 
I think, five. I gave two of them, I passed two of them along because the colors were too pink for my skin tone. But I love these Clinique Cheek Pops. I have Ginger Pop, I have Koa Pop, or no, this is Fig Pop, and then Koa Pop. These are absolutely wonderful. I love the formula of those, and I love how I can just like go hard and slap it on because I love putting blush on. It's like my favorite part of makeup. Okay, and then are they, do you have any blush buying regrets? Why, yes I do. This Benefit Majorette Cream Blush, I got it for like 10 bucks at a, during an Ulta sale. It still has a little protector. I think it's really cool that it comes with a protector. But the only reason why this is a regret is because I never reach for it. I never reach for it. It's so pretty. I think I've used it twice. It's really pretty, cute. The color works for me. I just never use it. That's why I regret buying it, even though it was just 10 bucks. The packaging is so cute though, but it's bulky. Okay, number 13, a blush you purchased because of another YouTuber. And the first thing that came to my mind, I bought a lot of blushes because of other people. But the first thing that came to my mind was the Clinique Cheek Pop and Cola Pop because of Amber F. I saw her using this and talking about it, and I just bought it. <laughs> so, yes, I, I don't use it very much. I probably only use it a handful of times. But I love having it because it's like nothing else I have. And I think about Amber every time I look at this. I'll have her uh, channel link below too. So if you don't know Amber, I don't know who doesn't know Amber F. She's just great. I just love Amber. And I really, um, I really love it when she wears this blush because it just tickles me for some reason. I don't know. Okay. Number 14, is there a blush from a brand that you haven't tried on your wish list? No, I mean, I even looked kind of Sephora and Ulta's websites real quick. There's really nothing that I'm interested in at the moment that I haven't tried before. Uh, I do want the Torrid, the NARS Liquid Blush and Torrid, but there's really not anything else that has caught my eye at this time. <clears throat> and the last question, number 15, your favorite blush brushes. Okay, for a long, 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 long time, I used these type of blush brushes. This is the Sephora Pro Angle Blush. I would use these type. The Marc Jacobs, the blush brush. I liked that type until Sephora collection came out with this Pro Sculpting Blush Brush. I love this. This, putting blush on like this, for some reason, this, this is just the best. I just love this blush brush. I just love it, I just love it. Cause I can kinda go like this and just gently, I don't know, something about that. It makes me feel like Emily Noel. I just, I love this. Uh, and I'll have all, everything I talk about in the description. But for cream blushes, I use the stipple brushes, the Real Techniques stipple. It's bigger. And then the e.l.f. small stipple for whenever I need something smaller. I've talked enough. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to the creators. Again, everything will be listed down below for you guys. I love you. I appreciate you so very much. Please like and subscribe if you want to, and I will see you real soon.